This is a preview of the nickel cleaning and hydrogenation equipment. On the right hand side is that you can see the uh, ultrasound cleaning bath. Here we have the hydrogen generator uh, with its own pressure gauge and also the vacuum gauge. And on the right hand side you can see the vacuum pump. There's also in visible here as a burette for adding extra liquid to the vacuum flask if necessary and over here we have a gas syringe which is probably not going to be used this time but it's in the system I might as well leave it there. Now, uh, now I'm going to weigh up the ingredients for sonicating an experimental fuel mix. it set the scale this is gem grade nickel 20 micron we have five grams five point one three close enough next step is to add 0.1 of a gram of carbon black. This is amorphous carbon black. Very, very fine particles. It's a particular kind known as gas black because it's made by using a flame in what might be called a reducing environment. Step. another 0.1 of a gram this time of copper powder copper is used as a spillover catalyst and some of you may remember that a certain Italian gentleman actually made excuses for having copper which involved talking about nickel 62, which may or may not be significant. So that's it, point one of a gram of copper. Now I'm going to add, without spilling too much I hope, that's good enough, 50 grams of heptane. This is 95% pure in heptane. The impurities are generally speaking other alkanes and now I'm going to put this in the sonication system. Now you can see it's all set up to be sonicated. There's ice and water in the bath and the flask is right down on the bottom where it gets the maximum impacts from what is a relatively low power sonication system. But time is on our side, there's no hurry for this. I'm going to turn it on now. And now I'm going to put the vacuum on. What fun. Here's a beaker containing the fuel, which is our end product of 14 hours of sonication. Much, much um, <laughs> bubbling, much contract with vacuum and, and hydrogen and so on. And actually this also contains a gram or so of uh, various lithium hydrides and 
there so the hexane's all gone and it's ready to put in a reactor we'll see what happens